Well, Pastor John Piper ruffling a little feathers out there with the recent blog post that he put out. But that's kind of what he's known to do. We're going to get into the details about this before I go any further. I got to give a special shout out to Maria, who recently became a $5 patron, helping to support the channel. Thank you so much, Maria. Also, I got to thank Marsha, who recently upped her pledge on Patreon to $25 a month. That is a huge blessing. Thank you so much, Marsha. Guys, if you enjoy what I do here and you would like to help support, I recommend you do so over on Patreon as little as $5 a month. Patreon.com slash conservative truth. That link in the description right now gets you all the bonus content, but soon it might get you all the content in general because YouTube has been cracking down on me, giving me all kinds of warnings. So who knows? It's only a matter of time. I could be completely kicked off this platform. So if you want to guarantee you don't lose me or my content, plus a great way to support, I recommend you go sign up on Patreon. Also, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. So Pastor John Piper, in his most recent blog post, he was answering a question, well, that one of his readers had as it comes to marriage, especially the marriage of a Christian to a non-Christian, to an unbeliever. How does that look in the sight of God? What should be done about it? And Piper responded by saying, well, quite simply, any Christian who does in fact marry a non-believer should be excommunicated from church membership because of that sin. He went on to say that those Christians who marry unbelievers have really compromised their love for Christ as the Bible states that one must be you know, equally yoked with another as far as being a Christian goes, and that when you go ahead and marry somebody who is not like you in that sense, well, you're opening up the door for a lot of problems. And that is absolutely correct. That is true. If you are a Christian, you marry somebody who is a non-believer, well, you have to expect that not being equally yoked, you're going to run into a lot of problems. Or if you marry somebody from another religion, let's say like a Christian who's marrying a Muslim, you're going to differ on quite a lot of things. But now as far as being excommunicated from church membership, is that a little bit too harsh? Should they be completely kicked out when it comes to that? Now let's just, let's say this. There's lots of sins out there. Christians, they sin. We know this. It happens. But we're able to go to God and we're able to ask for forgiveness of that and be wiped away of that sin and start over new again. So, does marrying a non-believer somehow top the charts as far as the sin that, well, there's just no excuse. I mean, you're going to be, you're, you're going to have to lose your membership. You're going to have to be excommunicated from that. Does that supersede all other sins that wouldn't get you excommunicated from a church? Now, Piper did say that repentance can occur and that person who is basically kicked out of the church would have to repent and truly develop some sort of an understanding, come to Christ saying, look, I made a mistake with this. And he didn't even rule out the fact that the marriage couldn't be saved, but that non-believer would then have to become a believer. And he's recognized that that could take a lot of work to do, which is true. Uh, what we're trying to focus on here is the whole excommunication part of it. And is that something that you would support? I want to throw that out to you guys. And let me just say this, somebody in Piper, you know, he's he seems very, you know, strong on excommuting people for this or that or whatever the case. But this is also the same man who called President Trump a dangerous and a major threat to America. And this is somebody who defended religious liberty, defended the unborn. And uh, I don't know how you associate that with dangerous and was encouraging people to not support the man. So I don't think John Piper really has room to talk when it comes to sin and when it comes to who should or shouldn't be excommunicated. I'll just say that uh, because that's what he's been doing now for quite some time. And personally, I am not a big fan of John Piper for that and many other reasons, especially him, you know, kind of leaning left on a lot of his ideologies. But let's talk here about the issue with the marriage and the excommunicating. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. And I'll go ahead and put what Piper had to say, a link for you in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.